Hi, my name's Phil. I like talking about politics. And in this video, I'd like to discuss how exactly Priti Patel's new immigration bill makes lifeboat rescues around the UK illegal. The news was doing the rounds last week, but what I wanted to do was to wait for a good explanation of the issue. Legal wrinkles can be complex and you basically need legal experts to explain it. Um, but actually, this one is really simple. I'm pretty horrendous. But first, if you'd like to be notified of daily news and politics, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification icon. So um, after some days of following senior barristers on the topic, I found a human rights lawyer who explained the whole thing really simply, Chai Patel, though he also credited others as doing the legwork on it. To begin with, where I came across it is a George Peretz QC asked the Home Office what the implications were for sea rescue from our Coast Guard or lifeboat charity, the RNLI, for example. The Home Office responded by saying that it won't apply to those organisations helping those in distress at sea. To which Mr Peretz asked them, oh great, that's fantastic. Could you please point out in the new bill where this is covered? Because I don't seem to be able to see it. He received no response. Now, here's the thing. There is no exception made for these organisations. Not because they've missed it out and some go, oh, because that can happen when you're drafting a bill, particularly when you're a government who's not all that keen on listening to experts. You could easily draft a bill and something unintended that you didn't, because, you know, it's, it's like anything else. If you try and imagine a rule, you try and make, you try and imagine making up some rule and then you may, you, you've got an intention and, but someone else says, ah, but it would have this unintended consequence. You go, oh, yeah, yeah, we need to think about that. This isn't because they've missed it out and have to add it in. It's because they probably don't know how to exempt them. I'm not suggesting that Priti Patel wants to see Coast Guards in court charged with this. But to do what she wants to do, how do you exempt them? I, I don't think there is any way in doing it the way she's doing it. I mean, this is incredibly messy. So what I need to do is take you through it carefully, I think. So, first of all, the political impetus for this insane change to the law. The Conservatives in general, and Priti Patel in particular, have made a big thing of demonising asylum seekers. But Britain isn't actually as heartless a nation as our government would have you believe. Um, every time something terrible happens, there's always a pushback. You know, um, so they can't just openly say they want asylum seekers to drown in the sea. So instead, they say they're after people smugglers. Priti Patel has had herself photographed with police operations to arrest what she has called traffickers, smugglers, whatever. Um, which has, you know, had a few people raise their eyebrows and go, is it even legal for you to do this? But anyway, in reality, um, they were just asylum seekers themselves. They weren't actually people smugglers. Some have been charged, prosecuted, even convicted. But this shouldn't be possible. If you travel to a country with the purpose of claiming asylum, you cannot be prosecuted for that act. And that's a matter of British law as well. Um, you know, passing into the United Kingdom. However, if it is to claim asylum, you claim asylum. It doesn't matter how you pass into the country or how many other countries you pass by. You get to a country, you have a legal right to claim asylum there. And this should not be a source of complaint by anyone not least in this country, not least by this government. I say anyone because if the asylum claim lacks merit, they will lose and not be granted the right to remain. So what's the big deal? And I say not least by this country because our past, both long past, recent past and even present, has been and sometimes is a destabilising force in the world, let us be honest. The reason why people have to flee for their lives from some of the most screwed up places on earth is because either we screwed them up or we helped enable those who have. And I also say that this government especially has no right to complain because they want to compel people in this country to view the days of empire as some great glorious achievement. Well, if they're so pleased with it, they can accept the consequences, can't they? But the reality is that these Tories accept no responsibility for anything, so they don't want to but they can't actually target asylum seekers. So here's the legal trickery they have attempted. The boats bringing asylum seekers here is piloted by someone. Of course it is, it doesn't just randomly wander around with the tide. Obviously it's not piloted by a people smuggler. That would be stupid, they'd be arrested. Because our current legislation 
makes it an offence to facilitate the passage of people into the country by what you might call unofficial means. You know, th this sort of thing. If, if there were a people smuggler directly bringing them, they could absolutely be arrested, charged, prosecuted, imprisoned. This is in Section 25 of the Immigration Act 1971. So what the Home Secretary has tried to do is to take the view that whoever is piloting the boat is facilitating the others. She can't touch asylum seekers for seeking asylum because they're just seeking asylum and have their rights protected by both British and international law. She can try and change the British law, but not international law. So what she does is she, she charges the asylum seeker who is in charge of the boat, not for the passage they take. She's not charging them with an offence related to their asylum claim, but for facilitating the passage of others. Presumably if they came on their own, she wouldn't be able to do a blind thing. Except this is still a perversion of the law. Because if you read that section 25, you go, oh yeah, oh yeah, she could do that. You could sort of see how that could work. And indeed it has worked. But it was also pointed out, it's, it's intended to target people smugglers, not asylum seekers, which is bad enough. You know, it's often said, you know, when governments try to apply the letter of the law, deliberately flying against the spirit of the law, essentially that's how you get fascism. But it's not technically the letter of the law either, because elsewhere in the in the act, um, it notes that the person facilitating this passage needs to do so for gain. And that's according to the law. But even if you try and argue that they were gaining by someone suggested, you know, well, let's say the person piloting the boat is charged less by the people smugglers. That's sort of some get that's their motivation for doing it. Uh, well, that's still not gain. They're an asylum seeker. The reason they're doing it is because they wish to seek asylum. They're not a people smuggler. So what the government is doing with this bill is removing the clause about gain. And this is where it gets crazy. Because what that would mean is basically Section 25 in all its misplaced glory is there. That means anyone who helps an asylum seeker come into the UK, regardless of motivation, commits a serious offence. So... If Her Majesty's Coast Guard or the Royal National Lifeboat Institute is alerted to a dinghy of people in distress, they will, of course, go out and rescue those in trouble. Well, what are they then going to do? They're going to bring them to the shore. They have committed an offence under this new legislation. The Home Office denied that it would affect them. But of course it will, because all they've done with the bill is remove a clause. They are removing the stipulation that someone commits the offence if it is for gain. They're just saying, no, we don't care what it's for. Well, if they're doing it as part of their jobs, then it covers them too. That makes everyone liable. Now, the RNLI did make it clear that they will always seek to rescue someone in distress at sea. Problem is, though, they will be committing a criminal offence by doing so. And although I say that the people of this country are not the arseholes that our current politics suggest... Don't get me wrong, there are plenty of bellends in this country. There will be gammons who instinctively will be listening to me saying this, if they've got this far, and they'll want our Coast Guard or lifeboats not to rescue these people. Well, they shouldn't rescue them. They should respect the law. But this isn't just callous, it's brainless. Because it's, it's not always obvious who is and who is not a migrant seeking a risky passage to the UK. Are the Coast Guard to ignore a family in distress in a dinghy because they can't tell whether they're from Sussex or Syria? Is the law to compel them to watch British citizens drowning in our waters because they weren't waving their blue passports that look black in the air? What are they supposed to do? The Coast Guard sees someone drowning? We can't rescue them. They might be asylum seekers. Yeah, but they might not. Yeah, but they might be. We don't know. It won't. And, and what's this for as well? Like, what's it for? It won't stop migrants seeking risky passage to the UK for two reasons. One, this bill does nothing to target the, the vast majority of asylum seekers. Just the poor sod at the helm, so to speak. Secondly, even the poor sod at the helm is not going to be put off. You know, it's not like they're going to go, well, I'm not piloting it because then I'll be arrested and thrown in jail. They don't know the law. Who's going to tell them? You know, the people smugglers who want him to pilot the boat so they don't have to do it themselves and risk arrest. Behave yourself. Who's going to tell them? No one. And if it's not been done to actually target asylum seekers coming into the country in this way, because that's not what this would do, what's it for? It's like every other Tory immigration policy over my lifetime. It's for show, isn't it? It's to show the Home Secretary is getting tough 
to please the gammons. Oh, I'm tough on immigration. She will certainly take some pleasure in inflicting misery on the vulnerable as well, I've no doubt, on a personal level. She will claim she is trying to save lives by dissuading them from making dangerous crossings. This is nonsense, because this law is designed to dissuade their rescue, not their passage. Besides, it's been pointed out enough that if you want to stop people making dangerous crossings, they don't want to. They've just fled war or persecution. Of course, they don't want to make lives more dangerous than they have to. If you want them to stop making dangerous crossings, give them access to safer ones. And a final thing to know, how long can they keep this up? Like, they say they're going to tackle this sort of what they call illegal immigration, even though it's not actually illegal. They said that the reason it got worse during the last decade of power, because people point out, you've been in power for over 10 years now. Oh, that, that, we were in the EU. It's the EU's fault. You know, Brexit will stop it. Well, we've got Brexit now. How come it hasn't stopped? In a few years' time, when she's still in the papers pushing these operations, how come it won't have stopped then? What bollocks will they come up with then? But those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. Hope you found the video interesting. If you did, don't forget to click the like button. And if you'd like to support the channel further, please also click the Patreon link for details. And until next time, I'll see you later.